Hello and welcome back to the Indie Bandits Twitch and YouTube channel. Uh, sadly, this is our final demo of the evening. Joe's still here and I am still joined by Archie. Hello. Different. We're mixing it up, Archie. I don't think this is another deck building roguelike, which is a shame. a shame. But let's jump straight in. JRPG. Oh, cycle sounds like it might be roguelike. Well, let's go. Let's let's see what the crack on is. It's it's full on JRPG though. Difficulty mode to view more information about it. Mm -hmm. Is it a Japanese developer or is it just somebody I... taking on the look? Of I the, don't uh, believe the it's. I don't believe it's a Japanese RPG. I might be wrong here. I think it might just be a JRPG with the J doing the heavy lit. <laughs> if, if you understand what I mean by that, if you get me, it's yes. taken. The J no longer stands for Japanese in that case. It might have originally, but maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it just means uh, in the style of... You know, like when you buy <laughs> when you buy something from the supermarket and it's not allowed to say it's from like a particular country because it's actually not. So it just says like yes. Kentucky styled fried chicken. <laughs> um, I mean Where are the Kentucky RPGs? I know, right. The KRPGs. That's a Zodiac mode. I've done it. The true but yeah, that's what you want. I, Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong screen. The entire game is balanced with this mode in mind. That's 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 what you want, but you want options as well. Like it, we we won't have the time in this brief experience of this demo to discuss game difficulty and how you it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> it doesn't matter. All, all that matters is your own experience, and if you enjoyed it X difficulty, then go for it. Ah. Oh, Constellations are no longer aligned, Archie. Fuck no, what? No one told me. Since since when? <laughs> uh, an update would have been nice. <laughs> Audio's cool. Do like a bit of chip tune. See, chip tune. Though it's from like the same era, I am way more like receptive to like chip tune and lo fi audio than I am pixel art. Like, if a game does yeah. chip tune, I mean... I'm like, <laughs> yes. If a game does pixel art, I'm like, I'll play this with an open mind, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, this needs this needs to get started because I'm not going to be reading this. <laughs> I think that's maybe one of the things you fall into when you make a JRPG is that you want to have the uh, the story, the world building, doing, yeah, doing a lot of the uh, not so much the heavy lifting, but that's it's a the large, large portion percentage. Of the game. Mm -hmm. It's the definitely large, a, uh, yeah. definitely a big part of the game, isn't it? I mean, it's probably genre. why a lot of people play those games. Um, I have not played a JRPG in the longest time. The more I think about it, like, like when we were younger. The PS1 era, JRPGs were like hot. You know, the thing to do, like Final Fantasy was a big thing. I think they uh, gateway to, to nerddom. At least in school, they were for me. It was like all my no, pals were like we were, especially. I mean, we were about for like Final Fantasy VII. You know, which I know, you know, the purists will probably be like before 3D was when it really like happened. The whole like JRPG thing. But that's not to say they like that shift. It was like if anyone had played like Final Fantasy VI in school, like getting into Final Fantasy VII was the big thing. Like everyone was like, you know, mm -hmm. having their minds blown essentially. Mm -hmm. And they're very accessible because you don't have to be like mechanically good at games. If you get me, like there was something very, there's something very well, accessible like about. You know, you don't need to be amazing at like holding a controller to play a, a JRPG well. Very good point. I, I think now it's a bit different. Like if you look back at Final Fantasy VII, it's essentially a two D game with you know three D sprites. When you when you really look back at it, so it's all like uh, what's it? What's the word? Um, where the background's already been rendered out. It's just essentially characters walking on a JPEG, which is that. I can't remember the exact name for it. Well, like the Mode because... 7 stuff they did in the o Overworld. Was it Mode 7 on the Super Nintendo where you'd, uh, where they'd flatten out a, to give it like pseudo 3D-ness? They'd... Uh... 
Yeah, they've essentially rendered the uh, the background at a really really high resolution, like, but it's oh, just no, an image. You talk, you, oh, you're talking about the uh, yeah pre-rendered backgrounds, I think. Pre-rendered is what they're backgrounds. Called. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of Mode Seven, which is what they did prior to that, where they like overworld to make it look 3D, yes. like F like the game F Zero on the Super Nintendo. How it like made in Mario Kart on the original uh, on the mm -hmm. on the Super Nintendo, the original Mario Kart, how that used like a JPEG. Oh, not JPEG, sorry, uh, an image turned flat, perpendicular to the sprites yes. to look like 3D-ness. That's something different. But yeah, you, yeah, they did pre-rendered backgrounds where you just ran around a picture. A 3D model ran across a picture and it just like they put up like collision boxes and walls to say where you could and couldn't go. Exactly. Those I damn still have not played that um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, but uh, I have heard it's good. Yeah. I've not an indie it. game, though. <laughs> Far from an indie game. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, I don't think indie devs, and that's not their fault, are uh, are doing those kind of games. They are going with more of this. I with... love that snowman. It looks like, like it's got like sunglasses on. The fat snowman has no regrets. <laughs> I love him. And sh no shuddy. No, no. shuddy. Like, like. That was excellent. I was originally about to like, say, oh, well, it's pixel art, and then fat snowman saves the day this is kind of like um you said earlier in the previous stream oh it's you for uh... oh no <laughs> that looks yeah, which pokemon you. is it <laughs> the archimon <laughs> <laughs> yep fucking hell did you is write this line? <laughs> uh when you said if you're gonna do pixel art make it look really really good i think that's the opposite side of it where you do it and you just make it super simple like yeah, yeah. like fez do you remember, like, like Fez, and Fez is like the tail. I mean, Fez is very good because mm -hmm. of how like low fi it is. But like, yeah, the character has two pixels for eyes. It's a, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good shout. And that it, that it regains its own appeal in a very kind of like roundabout way. It's like, I'm not sure I'm sold on like the. I mean, I know it's very like JRPG, but the the character art in the top right, and I know that's very anime. But I mean. It's the clashing style with me that I don't know if that works. Though is I was about to ask that actually. Yeah, when the text box came up at the start and uh, has the pixel art as your as the game and your character's appearance for the text boxes is is, is what we're seeing right now. But this, this is very really GRPG like nicely this. drawn. It's yeah. like when you can't get away with the real world looking like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe you know I'm not in a position yeah. to really say whether it's. Good or not, like well, I don't think I'm enough of a connoisseur of the JRPG to, like some like you know like some a... people like this stuff, like they love the like oh there's a really cool like character art and a cool pose yeah. when the you know rather than imagine if they just like made the pixel art character bigger. <laughs> yeah, like games like Disgaea or Disgaea, depending on how you want to pronounce it, uh, they right. do the exact same thing as what this game's doing, where it has this very like you know simple but appealing kind of pixel art style. Maybe for a little bit of 3D in there, but when it comes to the text boxes, they've got this like nicely drawn like anime character. Yeah, it's. I have not been paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing though. Oh, I can <laughs> no, I was just wittering. Go no. follow the path south, baby. No, it says. Look, it says I can't. Right. Does it? What does it say? Uh, Hang on. Oh, I can. Run. Well, fuck me, she's fast. I won't leave this constellation until I have Capricorn's crown in my hands. But look, I can run. Oh, beg your that pardon. I can't jump over the fence though. Can I jump into this dude? That snowman has no regrets though. He doesn't. Maybe I was just meant to go this way. Ah, okay. I know. This is Moose Man. Salary goat. <laughs> I think it's meant to be like a like salary man. You know, like the Japanese mm. cultural phenomenon of uh, men who wear suits and work way too hard for Western standards. Does that snowman have any regrets? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Was that your nickname in school? Ginger Tips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ginger. I know you're not, but it'd just be funny if your nickname in school was Ginger Tips. <laughs> it's doing a... Uh... Oh, do I need help with fighting? Nah, let's just... Come on. Let's just wing it. Let's wing it. Yeah, I've got my abilities. It's a... It's a... It's an interesting mix, though, with like the super pixely stuff with these, like, just yeah, quite crisp, clean, crisp, clean. shot UI. 
Wait, was that? Am I getting chinned? Am I meant to like fight something? I've just clicked something. Yeah, I think you're fighting the super moose. No, no, I get that, but I mean, like, did I get some damage already? Or is that? Oh, oh my yeah, you missed the prompt. Oh, was I meant to press a button there? Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> I like that. Pay attention. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's... It again. I know. But I, I was distracted by you shouting, "Pay attention!" As I. <laughs> Uh, should I protect? <coughs> oh, interesting. I've got a... Why are you going to be on the ball in this game? I know. It's Assuming not... that's your prompt as well. Oh, fuck off. Can I do it again? Nice. Did you just have a heart attack? <laughs> I think you did. Oh, no, he's healed. You're off crazy. Nice. He's like <laughs> in berserker mode. Nice. Excellent. I'm gonna die though. Can I get him now? Game over. Oh, fuck. Well, this is quite fun. I mean, I haven't played a JRPG in the longest oh, time, but that having was the prompts. Such shit timing from me. Yeah. Fuck now. Having let's... the prompts as a means to kind of like, like increase your interaction. Because yes, I do prefer. That. I remember. JRPGs don't usually do that. I'm Correct me if I'm wrong. Not always. I think. I, I guess. The classic so. ones do. Right, so I've got a. Oh shit, I was pressing next to skip thing. Right, I've got this. So if I put purity on, right, I get a block and I get a counter attack as I. Well, not if I do that, but you know, if I was okay. to. I oh, know. Oh, fucking hell, that, that's quick, man. I'm still like reading the shiz on screen. Purity's off, exit 70, 70. Melee front row, let's do it. There we go. Oh, I felt that was. Oh, close. I know that's the closest I've got to doing something that wasn't shit. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Just chin him. Oh, he got Bye -bye. He, he got <laughs> Game abs. over. Nice. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Feels racist to say the world is cleaner after beating people who aren't you. <laughs> you know what? I know it's like all constellation based, but the first thing I think of with them, like each having like a little, a little sort of like different star sign thing mm -hmm. uh, legacy of Cain shiz with the like clans uh, and vampires yes. and stuff just walking up these dudes up they're on strike head out with conditions <laughs> they're unionizing yes are they like slugs like no i think they're like the same things as before but they've uh they've got tails <laughs> It's got a bit of a sort of a, a bit of an Undertale crack on as well, like sort of this like self-aware thing going on. I'll and have to be honest, I've never played Undertale. It's all very tongue-in-cheek. Mm -hmm. It's like you take the tropes and staples of the uh, of the genre, and then you kind of mess around with it. The fact that you, oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Where you have like you know, you have fucking. Oh, they're goats because they're Capricorn. God, I'm slow. God damn Yo, it. Hang on. Isn't Ares the goat? Oh, wait. No, what's Capricorn then? Am I Capricorn? <laughs> yeah, you're Capricorn, I think. So what's a Capricorn then? Uh, I can find that out for you. Or you... tweet at us. <laughs> just, just let us know how bloody stupid we are. What am I on about? Oh, smash that goat boy. No, Ares is... Oh, no, a goat is a ram. Because I'm an thing. Ares, like... Oh! But... Oh, no more buffs. Right, okay. Well, hang on. Capricorn oh. is a goat. So what is Ares then? Ares is Ares is a the ram? ram. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting these mixed up. So Capricorn is a goat. I apologise, Capricorn is the goat. 
yeah well i don't i don't engage much in star signs <laughs> for like you know anything well just well you know because i'm quite scientifically minded and i think we are way more interesting as a species when we don't think there's only 12 types of people hmm you know and all that kind of crack on i mean i like yeah. it for like you know i'd throw this kind of stuff into like a D, &D session mm -hmm. you know i think it's kind of fascinating stuff like that's cool you know like as as law i have no objection to it being like used in the lore of a game like the like this game is but look I, i'm i'm libra so scales literally scales like there's fucking oh, goats the, in a uh, giant yeah it's it's like <laughs> you've oh, you're, the short that's, you're, that's you're so one. balanced well i think i'm like year of the rat on the chinese calendar and <laughs> you are like year of the dragon or something like a magnificent dragon yeah exactly like that was pants like when we did that in school and because like you know i'm a different chinese calendar year to like part of the class like half of us were like dragons are dead again Let's chin these proletariats, and then uh, and then we'll call it a, we'll call it a day. But no longer your bees. Yeah, I'm I'm Vir <laughs> Which one's Virgo then? Can you? What's Virgo do? <laughs> Shall I research Virgo? Yes, that's, that's the, the the indie bandits star sign stream. Let's that chin these big cat recording. Number goals. one, Virgo. <laughs> Uh Do I have them take a little longer this one? Uh is Virgo a woman? And that's it. <laughs> Virgo, the star sign of some lass. <laughs> so you know, well, seemingly so. Oh my god, I've just I feel this game needs a, a prompt about to come up thing. Because I'm about to die again. We're going to have to, like. Oh, but see, these. It's a maiden, these... sorry. It's a maiden. I'm battering these guys, but. I've got to, like. You've got to pay a lot of attention to this fight, like. Because they keep saying stuff, and stuff keeps happening. And then you've got to quickly press X for some reason. I'm going to get the. This thing on where it gives us a cheeky attack at the end. Yes! There we go. I was paying attention that time. Is it a tough. Uh, is there a strategy to this? Or are you just uh, spamming the. Uh... No, I'm looking very closely at the words and hoping that it doesn't say tap X. Mm. Like, he's about to do something, but like, don't be an attack. No, it smashed it. Nice. Counter turn. Right, I might win this nice. one. As long as he doesn't do an attack. Oh, he's, oh, he's buffed his shield, so is there anything to do you can counter to counter I'm going to buff that. my shield and just hope that it works out when he attacks. He's like buffing uh, all his shiz. Oh, he's buff as anything. He's just, uh, he's a big old buff goat. See, that didn't end. Oh, no. Oh, he had a heart no, attack. No, 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 it did, it did, it did. He had a heart attack, which is tragic. Oh, fuck, he did it twice and I died. Right, let's rage quit this shit. <laughs> oh, <joking. laughs> it's a decent game, but it, oh, my God. It, I like the school. I like the school when you die. It it, it wants you to... Uh... Oh, you have to pay attention. This is a tough one to stream, like, to keep it, you know. Mm. It, want, it wants you full attention, and that's absolutely fine. But, yeah, that was... Uh... Virgo versus the Zodiac. If you didn't get, there was a whole Zodiac theme going on there. Mm -hmm. Tiny little game oh, wow. that we've uh, just had a go of. Obviously, the great thing about all these games is they have demos that are fully available now. You can go play it, like go check it out. And if you like what we do, obviously the socials, if you're watching this back on YouTube from the future, like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> do the, you know, find us on socials. If you're an indie dev yourself, uh, you can support what we do on Patreon and get some perks. If you're an indie game fan, then you can just support us on Patreon. We are we are not above just having your money. 
you know, I've done. <laughs> Look, if you want to help us, what we do, we can, uh, the more support we get, the less of our day jobs we have to do, and the more we can just focus on celebrating indie games together. So if you want to celebrate indie games with us, you know where to find us. I've been Joe, and I've been joined by Archie this evening. Jimmy Bandit Hello. is uh, sadly on assignment, but uh, hopefully next time he might be able to join us as well. And, the, you know, until then, cheers for indie games and just keep celebrating them with us. Try, guys. In a bit, guys. Bye-bye.